Hi everyone, welcome to your cardio pyramid class. No equipment is needed today. These are all body weight plyometric exercises. If you're new to the pyramid structure, this class is broken up into two different pyramids. In each pyramid, I'm going to give you five exercises. First time through, you do them each for a minute. Second time through, you do them each for just 45 seconds. And final time through, you do them each for only 30 seconds. At the end of each exercise, you get to rest for 15 seconds before moving on to the next. And in between the two pyramids, I'll give you a full minute to recover while I show you the upcoming exercises. We're gonna start class with a quick guided warm up focused on mobility and gradually bringing the heart rate up. And then we'll finish class with a quick guided cool down. There's quite a bit of jumping around in this class. However, I will have low impact modifications playing throughout the class. So at any point, if you wanna take out the jumping, you will have a demonstration of how to do just that. And if you like this cardio pyramid class, I have another one available on Patreon. All the info you need about joining Patreon is at patreon.com slash Nicole Pierce. All right, let's get into our warm up. So to start, we're just going to link movement to breath with a little articulation of the spine. Standing up tall, big inhale. And then as you exhale, I just want you to nod the chin and vertebrae by vertebrae, roll all the way into a forward fold, unlocking through the knees. And on your next inhale, you just stack your spine back up tall, come to standing twice more. Exhale, nod the chin, roll forward. Inhale, stack it back up tall. Last time. And this time when you come up tall, I want you to reach those arms forward, thumbs point up. Sweep the right arm up overhead. As you do, twist open. And then I want you to flip the palm so that your thumb points down towards the floor as it comes behind you. Keep reaching this left arm forward. And then you just reverse it back to start. So your hips are not twisting. The spine is. So making sort of a rainbow shape, the semicircle with the right arm as we twist open and close one more time. And then just take it over to the left. As you twist open, think of growing taller through your spine as if you could increase the space between your vertebrae, just reducing compression there. Last time. And then I want you to sweep your arms up overhead, palms face forward. We're gonna do a hip hinge with an arm sweep. As the hips slide back, long neutral spine, you're gonna sweep your arms behind you, open through the chest, and as you come up tall, arms overhead. We're not flaring open through the ribs. So you're only bringing your arms up as high as you can, maintaining that connection to your rib cage and your abdominals. We're gonna hold the hinge, just the arm sweep in three, Two, hold your hinge, arm still sweep up and down. Long neutral spine, reach the top of your head at that diagonal. Staying connected to our abdominal wall. We're gonna switch this into a reverse fly. One more time overhead. Now arms point at a diagonal, flip the palms so they're in towards each other. And we just open and close. Flying those arms wide, establishing this connection to the mid back. Hands are gonna to come to heart center up next. We're gonna take this into a squat. In three, two, one. So I want you to drop your hips into a nice low squat and you're gonna straighten your legs coming into a forward fold. Bend at the knees, reach your hips back, lift the chest, low squat, forward fold. If you need to separate your feet a little wider, go for it. And don't feel like you have to come in your lowest possible squat just yet. Still warming things up here. Last time, forward fold and roll yourself up to standing. Now just to continue movement throughout the hip joint, we're gonna do a hip circle stepping into a back lunge. So we'll start with that left knee. You draw it up, you hinge open through the leg, and as you circle it back around, you bend into your front right knee, you come into a low lunge. Three more times this side, stand up, knee lifts, circle it open and back, back lunge. One more time this side. Come to stand and then just switch over. So now it's your right knee that comes up. Hinge open through the hips, circle it back and around, low lunge. We're gonna come into our light cardio section up next. Last time. 
come to stand and we're gonna start with butt kickers. So running it out, one heel in towards your seat. If you don't wanna run it out, you can just march like that. So just two movements, keeping it simple, butt kickers, jumping jacks. For the jumping jacks, you're gonna sweep your arms up overhead and down. So just your traditional jumping jack to start, but we will switch that up in three, two, one, jumping jacks. And if you don't wanna jump, you're gonna step and sweep, step and sweep. Back to butt kickers in four, three, two, one, run it out. Going through these two movements three times. So the second round of jumping jacks, we'll switch it up, we'll crisscross the legs and the arms will fly open and closed. In four, three, two, one. And again, you can always step, step if you wanna eliminate the jumping. Final round of butt kickers in three, two, one. Last round of jumping jacks coming up. It'll be the ones we started with. So just traditional jacks in three, two, one. So we've just a smidge more mobility and then you're done with the warm up. Now that we've done this light cardio, we're nice and warm. We're gonna go back to mobility, make it a little bigger. Four, three, two, one. All right, I want you to fold forward, hands to the mat, and start with just a couple inchworms. So you're gonna walk yourself up to a plank position, and then you just walk your hands back and towards the feet into that forward fold. I want you to keep your legs as straight as possible, but if you're tight through the hamstrings, then give me a little bend to the knees. This time when you walk yourself out to a plank hold, and we're going to do world's greatest stretch. So left foot steps outside the left hand, left arm twists up to the ceiling, left hand back to the mat, left foot steps back to plank, other side, right foot, Twist open, close the twist, back to plank. Keep alternating. One more time, each side. And then just hold your plank for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lift those hips up, walk your hands in. All right, I'm gonna show you our first five exercises. First up, it's a side lunge hop switch. You do three of those, and then a single leg hop driving the knee up. You do three of them so that you're gonna alternate which side you're doing that single leg hop on. From there, we isolate the right leg. You're in a split lunge, arms overhead. Two little lunge hops, and then you stand and knee drive, bringing hand to tap knee. The third exercise is that exact same thing, just on the left. From there, jumping jack variation. It's two jumping jacks flying the arms and then two jumping jacks lifting the arms up overhead. Final exercise, staying low in a squat position. It's two squat jacks and then you jump your feet to plank, two plank jacks. The jump forward and back happens when your feet are wide. I'll cue that when we get there. And again, low impact versions will be playing in the corner of the screen, either this corner or that corner. All right, 60 seconds per exercise to start. Let's go. All right, hop switch side lunge, three of those. Opposite hand reaching towards the foot. Don't feel like you have to touch it though because I don't want you to fold uh, round forward. I want you to stay open through the chest. One, two, three, single leg hop. Land back in that lunge. Other side. One, two, three, hop. Stay low when you do the hop switch. So these pyramid structures are nice because you get the worst out of the way at the first. So longest, hardest round right here, and then we'll get shorter and shorter. Rest. Okay, so now we're gonna focus on the right leg. You're gonna be a split lunge position, arms overhead. Two hops and then knee drive. Hop. 
hop, hop. When you stand, really squeeze into the right butt cheek. So, this is a core challenge, keeping the arms overhead. Don't flare open to the ribs. Stay connected to that abdominal wall. And if you notice those ribs flaring open, lift your arms up at a diagonal in front of you instead, just like that. Rest. Okay, so same thing, other leg. And I want that knee drive powerful. I really want you to pull the arms down as the knee drives up. Left foot forward. Two hops, powerful knee drive. Whoop, as I fall. rest. All right, jumping jack. Two flies, two lifts. Let's go. Fly, fly, raise, raise. Don't flare open through the ribs when your arms go up. And when you do that fly, really think of initiating the movements with your shoulder blades, retracting in towards each other. Rest. Okay, last exercise. Two squat jacks, jump to plank, two plank jacks. The transition happens when your feet are wide. So in, out, in, out, hands to the mat, jump to plank, in, out, in, out. and rest. Okay, just 15 seconds. We're gonna start back at the top. Rounds are just 45 seconds a piece now. Side lunge hop, side lunge hop switch, three of those, single leg knee drive. 
One, two, three, little hop. Don't think about getting your leg out as wide as possible. Really think about sending your hips back so you're in this big hinge forward with your torso. rest. Okay, right leg is the focus. Two lunge hops, stand and knee drive. Arms overhead, focus on core control. Two hops, doesn't have to be big, and then stand and knee drive. Bring your hands down to your knee. That stand and knee drive is explosive. Rest, switch sides. The hops don't have to be big. Two little hops, stand and knee drive. Left foot forward, split lunge, square and level your hips. rest. Jumping jacks, two flies, two lifts, maintaining connection to your rib cage. Two flies, two lifts. The arms are controlled. Don't just flail them up and down, okay? rest. Okay, two squat jacks, two plank jacks. Transition from squat to plank when your feet are wide. So start in a wide low squat. In, out, in, out. Hands to the mat, wide plank. In, out, in, out. Jump up to your low squat, hands off, chest lifted, chest open. Rest. Okay, it's quick. Just 15 seconds, final round, just 30 seconds. Let's do it. Side lunge, hop switch to that single leg squat jump. One, two, three. 
one, two, three, hop other side. Last time you're gonna see these exercises, let's do it. Again, it's hips back. Rest, right leg's the focus. Two hops, knee drive. Square your hips, level your hips. Both knees bent, arms up or at a diagonal. Two hops, as you knee drive, you squeeze into the stabilizing right side glutes. Rest, other leg, left foot forward, right foot back. Rest. Two moves to go. Jumping jacks. Two flies, two raises. You're on the balls of your feet jumping in and out. Let's go. Rest. Squat jack times two, plank jack times two. Start wide. Final 30, and then we're done with this pyramid. In, out, in, out. Hands to the mat, wide plank. In, out, in, out. and done. Awesome work, grab a drink of water. You have a minute to recover. I'm gonna show you our second pyramid. First up, it's gonna be a back lunge to a front kick, bringing opposite hand towards the foot or the shin. You're gonna do it twice on one leg and then you do a 180 jump lunge, switching your direction. Same thing, other side. Then it's gonna be a get up, knee, knee, foot, foot. You do a squat hop, then a big squat jump back to your get up. From there, you come down onto the mat. It's gonna be an alternating jackknife, kicking one leg up and then the other from an ab curl position. And then you come into a plank and you're going to do four plank jumps. The hips pike up slightly as you hop your feet in and out. You do four of those and then you give me one push up. Final exercise, everyone's favorite, burpees. I'm gonna be doing chest to floor burpees, lowering my chest all the way to the mat and then coming up. If you'd rather just jump to a plank position or give me a regular push up at the bottom of it, all options. Okay, let's do it, 60 seconds a piece. Doesn't matter which leg you start on, back lunge, to that kind of sweeping front kick, two of those, and then 180 jump lunge. And then from your lunge, switch direction. Standing kick, two of those, 180 jump lunge. Now, if you're really tight through the hamstrings and your hips and this kick isn't happening, you can do a knee drive instead. So you just do knee up, low lunge, knee up, low lunge, and then switch. Whoop. 
throw off my balance. rest. Whew. Okay. Get ups, squat hop, squat jump. I'm going to do it with my hands behind my head, elbows wide. If you'd rather have hands in front of you, you can do that as well. Start in a low squat. So knee down, knee down, foot, foot coming into your low squat. And then it's a little hop and then it's a big jump. Now, when you go into your next get up, lead with the opposite side. Rest. Okay, we're gonna come down to the mat. Jack knives. So reach your legs out long, really press your heels into the mat. Arms are gonna be overhead, but come into an ab curl position, okay? So head and upper shoulders aren't gonna rest on the floor. As you exhale, bring hands in towards one foot or shin, back down, other side. And when you come down, you're just coming to that ab curl position. I'm very tight to the backs of my legs, so you'll notice I'm just bringing my hands to my shin. But if you can tap your foot, do it. rest. All right, find your plank position. Plank jumps, so feet in and out, in and out four times, and then give me a push-up. You can always drop to your knees for that push-up. <sighs> Hips can pike up a little bit as the feet jump in, okay? In, back, in, back, four times. <sighs> give me a push-up. Rest. All right, burpees. I'm doing chest to floor. You can do any version of burpees you want. Last 60 second round of the day. Let's go.
Okay, we start at the top. 45 seconds each exercise. Ooh. So we'll start with a back lunge to the front kick. Back lunge, front kick. Do it twice. And then from your lunge position, 180 jump lunge. Now your other foot is in front. Opposite hand towards that foot that's kicking. When you kick, I want you staying upright and I don't want you curling under through your tailbone. So I want you to think of really squeezing into the seat and bracing through the core. So maybe your leg doesn't come up very high and that is fine. Rest. Okay, get up, squat hop, squat jump. Alternate your lead foot when you do the get up. Elbows are wide, but not so wide that you flare open through your ribs. Kneeling, low squat, baby hop, big jump, other side leads. Rest. Okay, down to the mat. Alternating jacks, jack knives. Legs long, ab curl position, but neutral to the low back here. Arms overhead. I want you exhaling as you come up, inhaling as you lower, if possible. If you're way out of breath, then as long as you're breathing, I'm happy. <laughs> when you come to this position and the arms go overhead, make sure you're not flaring open through the rib cage, okay? Ribs move gently in and down. Rest. Okay, you're in a plank position. Plank jumps in and out four times, one push up. On the push up, your elbows go back at a 45 degree angle. Stay open through your chest. Let's go. Rest. Oh. All right, burpees. Any version of burpees you want, I'm doing chest to floor. If you're doing chest to floor, don't just flop yourself down and up. You can transition through your knees so you maintain a strong core.
Done. Okay, 15 seconds to rest. Final round. 30 seconds to move. Let's do it. Cool downs on the other side of this, okay? Back lunge, front kick with that 180 jump lunge. Let's go. rest. One down, four to go. Get up, squat, hop, squat, jump. Make the jump explosive, okay? Last time you have to do these. A little hop, get some air on that jump. rest. Down to the mat. Jack knives. Remember in your low part, you still are in that ab curl position. Like you're rounding up and over something. Rest. Flip around into your plank. We're almost done. Two more work in our intervals to go. Plank jump, hips pike up a little bit, knees bend as you hop them in and out. For those, one push up. Let's go. Drop to your knees for the push-up if you need to modify. Rest. 30 seconds of burpees to finish up. Then we cool down. You got it. Let's go. Final 30 seconds of work. Oh, and done. Awesome work with that one. Grab some water, take a second to let your heart rate come down a little bit, and then I'll bring you through a guided cool down. Hi, pickles. Hey, honey. Want to cool down with us? Let's start with a standing quad stretch. So uh, shift the weight into your right leg and then grab your left foot, pull the heel in towards your bum and then brace to the core so that your pelvis is neutral. That way you really feel the stretch across the top of your thigh. Shake it out, switch over to the other side. Right foot in your hand, thighs parallel. Draw slightly up to the lower abdominals, just to bring that pelvis to neutral so we really feel that quad stretch. We 
When you're ready, release that foot. And I want you to find a wide stance. And I just want you to fold forward. Grab opposite elbow with opposite hand. And in this kind of ragdoll position, just sway side to side a little bit for a bit of release. Maybe you soften into one knee at a time as you sway forward towards it. Whatever feels good. When you're ready, we're just going to settle in the center. I'm going to bring your right hand into the center of your mat. We're going to twist open left arm to the ceiling. Coming back through center, same thing other side. Twist open with that right arm, left hand is in the center. Both hands down to the mat. And I just want you to walk your hands over to the right, bending into that right knee, left knee comes down, come upright, you're in a kneeling lunge position. Feel free to grab some padding for this back knee. I want you to square the hips, squeeze gently, through this back left butt cheek, and you're just gonna press your hips forward so you feel a nice opening through this back left hip flexor. And then let's take that left arm, reach it up. You're just gonna side bend over to the right. Coming up through center, let's shift our hips back now. Fingertips content on the mat, fold forward. Chest towards the thigh in this half split position. So this front right leg is long. All right, and coming up, let's just take it over to the other side. Left foot steps forward. We square our hips, gentle squeeze of the back right butt cheek, and we press our pelvis forward, hip flexor stretch. Right arm reaches up, and then we're gonna side bend over to the left. Deep breaths into the side body here. Coming up tall, shift your hips back, straightening out through that front leg, left leg. Fold forward, chest towards the knee. And as always, take your time in these stretches. If you wanna stay on anything longer, please do. And when you're ready, let's just come to a comfortable kneeling or seated position. We'll just finish with two deep breaths together. Inhale, arms sweep up overhead. And exhale, let it go. One more time, inhale up. Hands clasped together at the top, bring them down through heart center. And that is your class, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new workouts here for free every Monday, but the month of January, I'm posting a lot more frequently. So definitely subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the classes. And then if you want access to additional workouts, I also have a Patreon. For $9.99, you can become a Patreon member and every month you'll get additional workout classes plus a monthly workout calendar, which is great if you're someone who likes a little guidance uh, from week to week. Thank you guys so much for your support, whether it's on Patreon or just showing me love here on YouTube, and I'll see you guys next time.